crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. Welcome to part three of my live unboxing of my annual catalog pre-order by Stampin' Up. Because I'm a demonstrator, I'm allowed to order from the catalog prior to customers when it goes live on June 3rd. So I would like to accomplish several things in this video. I would like to do some follow-up on the first two unboxings, meaning I unboxed the In Good Taste Suite, I unboxed some of the flowers for every season, I unboxed new in colors, um, lovely labels, pick a punch, and I just now, and some embossing folders. And then since then, I had a chance to play with a lot of those items. Hi, Susan and Terry and Darlene. Well, since then, I got a chance to play with a lot of those items, and I just want to show you now what I came up with from products that I opened up in part one and part two of this little unboxing series. And who knows, once I see what other people in my team got in their unboxings, I, I may be doing a part four of this uh, pre-order unboxing. Who knows? But right now, this is all I have left. This is my last box. I got it, I, I got it Monday and I said, then at the same time, my paper pumpkin kit came. And I was like, oh, what to do, what to do? Well, I chose Paper Pumpkin, and that's what I've been up to for a couple days, is I've been working on Paper Pumpkin. And I did all that, and I used some of the products from, from that I opened before, so I just want to start with that. So, for example, hi Sally. Okay, so here we go. So this is something I unboxed in, I think it was part two, all the, it's all blurring, but this was something I unboxed, and you saw me start to play with, the lovely labels Pick a Punch. So in that, I think it was part two, and in that video, I said, oh, this is a really neat punch. And I, I was like, so I made these that in that video with the stamp set that coordinated, and I made these little ends. Okay, so I'll show you the stamp set that coordinated. So this was the stamp set, it's called Lily, Lovely Yo. Now I didn't make any cards with these yet. Yay, Darlene, you have box coming. I didn't make anything with these ones, but I did use this this punch in my paper pumpkin projects. So that's what I would like to show you. Just the cards, just a couple of the cards. I'm not showing you, I did a video with like 24 projects that you can create with that paper pumpkin kit. But here's how to layer it up. Cheryl Wills, hello Cheryl. Another way to layer it up. Here, here's what I do when I send paper pumpkin subscribers or somebody, something like a customer or a thank you, right? Look, I put them in bags and then I label them. So this is called a kit in color. Anyway, that's why it was in a bag. And this was, this was again, I'm following up with some things. Remember I showed you what was called the memories and more cards and envelopes. You can cut them down. This one was cut down. They were a little bit bigger. Yay, Susan's getting her box. Then I used the envelope liner. And again, this lovely labels pick a punch. Okay, so just, just the way, I'm just following up with different things you can do with that. I love that. And then, oh, the tag. Yep, the tag. Thank you. I forgot about tag. I'm just seeing all, out of all my cards which ones I used that one for. And I used it for some of the other projects as well, like for some of my 3D projects as well. The lovely label pick a punch. This one's already in a bag, see? That's the pick a punch as well. That's an M&M an M &M treat. Okay, so that's just a follow up. And what else? I want to follow up with the, so that was a really cool punch I showed you. I must follow up with something else now. Something that's going to be airing soon. A pre-recorded video on scan and cut. I was able to cut out those flowers. Okay, so I got a follow up. I think this was from part one, but it could have been part two. But I said, hey, I love this jar of flower stamp set. And this, I said, oh, I can't wait to cut those out with my Scan and Cut. So I did. I cut them out with my Scan and Cut, these, these little bushels of flowers. See how it's smaller on the front of the stamp set, but inside it's actually way bigger than it looks because there was actually a couple parts inside there. So they're bigger than the picture. Okay, and as a follow-up to, I think it was part one, when I took out the flowers for every season, And these are the two cards I made with the, as a follow-up, using lots of projects. 
using, I mean, products, lots of products, including the little jar things I opened up, these little, these little things I opened up. This is all part of the pre-order. So June 3rd, everybody can get this. All my customers can get these little, I mean, this is, this is a must have. The team, the, I, I'm sure that the whole team already bought these, <laughs> bought this jar punch. I mean, hello. The, so I made the jar punch by cutting out the memories and more card pack. And I didn't unbox this in front of you, but these are something I did steal out of the box that came in box number three. Thanks, Susan. This was box number three. Here, this were flowers for every season gems because I wanted gems that would match. There wasn't that many in there, and I mean, it's not like I lost them. There just wasn't, there wasn't a whole lot in there compared to my sequin pouch that I have, so I was using my own sequins, but that's little river rocks. You don't need many. That's the thing. Less is more in that case. And I had stamped in soft suede at first, but that didn't work out. I ended up stamping in black and coloring with the soft suede blends. And then for this, I used my own little sequins I had from a leftover from a paper pumpkin kit before. Okay, so these are follow-ups. And then this, this is just cut right out of one of the memories and more card packs. And this little friend stamp is, yes, I put them on wobbles, of course, Darlene. You know I put them on wobbles. The little friend, here, this is a stamp set I'm pretty sure I have a, yeah, I have a uh, video coming out. So, who, someone just asked, do I have a video on how to make these? Yes. Well, not how to make the whole card, because I don't usually do, that's just not how I roll. I don't really show, like, I'm not one of those people that get on and do, like, an hour video on making one card, but I did show you, I did a video where I showed how to cut these flowers out using the scan and cut, these flowers, the two flowers, how to use my pencil trick, how to cut them out, how to color them using, this one was using markers and, this, and the blender pen. This one's using the, the Stampin' Blends, and I showed, I didn't show how to put the whole card together. Maybe I will in the future. That's just not usually how I do my tutorials. I like to, I mean, I'm, not that I won't do a card tutorial on how to make these, but I really don't have any left. Like, honestly, these are my last, these, these are my last two left. I don't know why I didn't order two packs of these. This is all I have left, so I don't have it. I don't even have a way to teach you how to make this without getting some more of these first. So anyway, back to this little guy. I got this little Friends Make... The good times better right here this here it was using the paper pumpkin kits the only way we're able to get this new in color inks right now that's it that was the only way we're able to get that so i was able to use misty mountain misty moonlight I, i'm mixing them up already mix misty moonlight anyway that's where i was able to get that color to match that so well and those are those little enamel dots and then i have a couple more follow-ups that are going to blow you away but anyway, this, I, I'm not sure someone can look, but I, that might be, this might be going away. I don't know why it would, but it's, it's the, uh, it's a, called a scene builder. And I love making scenes with this waterfront set. I made this card with this waterfront set way back when, a few years ago, maybe three or two years ago. I've been carrying it around ever since I keep it with the set because it's my little work of art. I feel like it, was, it took like five, five, ten, ten minutes to make maybe but it feels like a work of art. I guess it is, we are artists, right? Everything is a work of art when you're stamping. All right, last follow-up. So yes, you can cut these with the scan and cut. And then yes, I put them on wobble springs. I showed my wobble springs in my scan and cut video. Those are wobble springs. And the, the great thing about wobbles is that it makes the flower get higher than the jar. So like, cause you, the jar's already so tall. So you needed something, either that or I used, I would have had to have used like 20 dimensionals. If I didn't, if I didn't put them on springs. All right. Other follow-up. This is going to blow you away. So I opened up these, these embossing folders. Okay. Just to give you context, this was probably in number one, video one. It could have been video two, maybe video two. And I said, oh, these are neat greenery embossing folders. These are small greenery and yeah, it's still available. Waterfront's still available. Good. I don't know if it's retiring, but it'll be available at least until June 2nd. Okay, look at this. This is called, I've had Waterfront for so many years. I can't read it. Greenery embossing folders. So I ran this one through. Let me show you that this is another. I ran it through some gold paper. Okay, I'm just, right now, if you're just tuning in, what I'm doing is a follow-up from my previous videos. That's what I'm doing right now is a follow-up. Because I, I took these out of the packages and then, you know, in order to see what, what you can do with them, you have to have... You have to emboss it to see what, how it looks. So there's what I made with that. 
Let's see what else I have as a follow-up. I know I have a card with those on it, too, somewhere, unless I've already given it away. So be it. But anyway, that's... I did... I also did stuff with that suite, and I made cards with leaves. And then I did this follow-up here. I wanted to show you what this embossing folder looks like. This was... This was from... Here. This is... This was the next day. Could have been the same day. Anyway, it was called Tasteful Textile. And I pulled it out of the package. I didn't really even pull it out. I was just like, oh, that's kind of neat. And I was like, eh, right? When I first saw it, I mean, I was like, what's that going to do? But look what it does. Oh, my goodness. It looks like snakeskin. I used rose gold foil in a suite that's re re definitely on the clearance. It's called, um, or it's called a product medley called Everything is Rosy Product Medley. You can get this rose gold foil, and it looks like snakeskin. Anyway, gold would work too, but there's a difference between the rose gold and the gold foil. We don't sell gold foil by itself yet. I can only get it in that product suite, but we sell sheets of gold foil by themselves. I just love embossing folders. And then I did one with a, um, what is it called here? M Early Espresso. So I did it with Early Espresso. And I just love this little textiles. So, I mean, if you do it with foil, it looks like snakeskin. And if you do it with just early espresso, it just looks like the picture. Okay, so way different results with the same exact embossing folder. And then I did a tutorial already on the scanning cut. And the tutorial was called something about like cutting out pattern paper or, or cutting out, I forget. No, no, it was about creating stickers. Sorry. It was about creating stickers using your scanning cut. And in that tutorial, I showed you how to make cards with all those leaves we cut out from the Forever Greenery Suite. And I don't know where that, those cards are, and I think I've probably already, I may have already given them out. So but may, I've already maybe mailed them out. But anyway, so those are the follow-ups. So now let's do the new stuff. Let's get all the new stuff in order. Let's open up all the little cute, cutesy things. Okay, so I'm using now, so what I'm doing now is the World of Good Suite. Antiqued Corners and Elements. I'm trying to see how I can open this. It's like, come on. Oh, here we go. I, I, I thought it was giving me a hard time here. Antique. <laughs> yes, this is another order, Sally. Order number three. I know I'm out of control. I'm going to need an intervention soon. Because then I see what other people get. And then I'm like, oh, I want that too. And then I want that too. And so now I'm like, okay. This is order number three. But actually, I ordered these before I even saw what other people ordered. It just took, it just like my pre-order came in three three different boxes. Oh, these are interesting. I thought these were going to be thinner, but these are heavy duty. Heavy duty, some, some brass. I'm bringing them closer to the camera, and hopefully that stays in focus. So these are going to be good to tie around the ribbons. And, you know, put the ribbons through. We'll try to put a ribbon through it and see what happens. Those are pretty neat. So again, antiqued corners and elements. So the ribbon that came in this sweet world of good is called Early Espresso. I'm going to try my friend Ian's trick here. Stamping with Ian. He's a, he's a demonstrator in the UK. So instead of pulling this off, when he did his unboxing, he said, find the loose end of the ribbon. Now my eyesight's not very good. And then he said, just, just get under there with the pokey tool and pull it out. And then you don't need to have ribbon all over the, your table unraveling. So I'm going to try it. I've never tried it yet, but we like learning off of other crafters, right? Because I get to see what other people get in their pre-orders. So if you just get a little... Oh, that is a great trick. Okay. Thank you, Ian. He's also a scan and cut, avid scan and cut person. So look at that. And then you don't have to... And it'll get. It'll come out easier when you don't have... When it, you know, it unrolls easier. But look at that. See that? So you don't need to get, if you don't take this plastic off, you don't have a big hot mess of unrolled ribbon all over your table. All right, so let's try it. So this is called, this is called, uh, da, 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 da. Early Espresso. Early Espresso Suede Trim. So it looks like suede. Super cool. And it's going to go right through there. So this is a must-have for the World of Good Suite. Because you can make these cute little things on your cards. That sure beats tying a knot, I can tell you that. It sure beats tying a, a bow and it make a nice masculine card. You know, lay that on the card. Alright, so good. I'm happy so far. 
world of good. Still opening up the rest of the suite. I'm poking. I'm using my pokey tool to cut into the cards now. It's called take your pick. I call it a pokey tool. It's called a take your pick tool. And that's a must have little tool. So I'm opening now. Part of the world of good suite is, is what's called memories and more cards. And so you can get in our Stampin' Up! product line something called memories and more cards and envelopes. And then these will go on those and they'll make instant cards. So I will just go through. So whatever, you get two of each design. These are must haves. I write thank you notes on them. They're great for card backgrounds. They're heavy duty card stock. So I'll just, I'll just turn them over so you get to see every design because I'm looking at this for the first time as well. Oh yeah, burlap. Yeah, look, that wasn't was the other one we were talking about, burlap. That one I showed you earlier. All right, so let's see. I'm just sometimes reading your comments and sometimes I miss them all together because they disappear. An old map and sayings. Dare to live the life you've always wanted. By the way, if you like memories and more cards, if you like them and you're like me, then and you don't want to miss out and have them for like a long time, then right now the Tropical Oasis Suite is retiring and so is the Come Sail Away. The suite, maybe not the stamp sets themselves, but the suite itself. So if you want the memories and more cards for Come Sail Away, they're on sale, but the, the Tropical Oasis ones are not on sale. But if you like card packs like this, I know my team, some, some people requested them as prizes because I let them pick their prizes and I know they're really useful. Our journey, little telescope. I should have read the coordinating colors, but I don't know them yet. I'm going to have to read them on the back of the uh, designer series paper, which is under here, by the way, if that's what's peeking out. We're going to do this world of good paper. It's peeking out. I mean, this to me looks like mossy meadow, but I usually read the coordinating colors first. Today was a great day. Very inspirational, these cards. What a wonderful world. Let's see what the other side of that one is. Hmm. Nice. I'm gonna have to cover I like this I like this kind of part better, but there's a little blotchy, but that'll be good for like contrast. You put some white on there and then that's a good little frame around it. So we say memories and more because some people decide to use these for memory keeping and scrapbooking. And then some of us like cards, make use these for to make cards with and note cards. So that's why it's called memories and more card pack. Because you always have options of doing the more. Oh, this is so important. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Okay, so I definitely wanted to bring this up today that um, right now we're having the day of service. And at Stampin' Up! And the whole company, and I mean the whole company, like the supply guys, I mean the guys that do the shipping, everybody, not just the graphic artists and the people, they're all making cards using using our stamp set that you can download, the digital download. Okay, so definitely you can watch, you can watch the Day of Service live. I'll try to put the link to Sarah's Facebook page in this video. And and if not, you can watch a recording of it. And you're going to get to see how the CEO of the company makes several cards simply using the digital download. And then she even gave stamps, five stamps to everybody in the company so they can mail out the cards that they make. So the whole company's doing that. And then I'm going to join in. I'm going to join in as well, meaning I'm going to make five cards to send out. More than that, but I'm going to make five with just that set in the design that she gave us. She gave us a way to cut up the paper. I'm going to, I'm going to join in and do five cards. So... That's what, that's what stamping's all about. That's what our company's all about. That's what you need to share the love. There's no sense doing this if you're not going to share your creations. I mean, it might make us feel good, which it does, but it makes other people feel even better. Oh, man, these are, these are amazing. The world cracks open for those willing to take a risk. So make stuff with your... In fact, I think this is going to go really well with the Come Sail Away because in that, there's like some compasses. It, it, the, the paper for that that's retiring, it looks like to me like it would really go a lot really well with these. 
It's never too late to have an adventure. But I think I, I think I was supposed to get a stamp set with this, so maybe I do have one more. Ah, maybe I do have one more coming, one more thing coming, because I thought I ordered the whole suite, but maybe I didn't. Or else I have to go check, because I think there is a stamp set that goes with this. Sweet. And dies. No, I didn't get the stamp set and dies. Actually, I didn't get them. Not that I won't, but I just, I don't think I did get them. I just got these separate to, to just see what it's about. Because I like having masculine cards. So I'm showing you part of the World of Good Sweet. There's, there's more to the World of Good Sweet. There's a stamp set and there are, it, it, you know you have too much stuff when you can't remember what you ordered. All right, so you get, so you get these small cards and then you get large cards. These look like they're incredible. Let's put that away before I get those all over. Snapping the lid on that. All right. These look incredible. Look at the brass on those. Oh, you don't get two of those, though. Maybe not. You only get... Oh, they're single-sided, too. Interesting. Very... This is the first time I've seen that ever. If someone else has a pack, make sure... I want you to check... If any of my team has a pack of these, I want you to check if yours are also single-sided, because I've actually never seen that. I'm wondering if it's just the foiled papers, because I've never seen that. Every time you get one of these packs, they're always double-sided. So, you know, it could be just my pack, but I doubt it. Maybe it's just the foiling took a lot. So these are, you know, heavy-duty cardstock. And who would need two sides of this anyway? That's probably why. That's, that's just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece I can write to make a card out of. And there's another piece of the... This is brass foil. And I have the brass foil, I'll show you. These are, these are gorgeous. Whoa, I'm going blind. You probably see my crazy hair in the reflection of this one. All right, this says play, work, travel, repeat. <laughs> or work, play, travel, repeat. I know, these are, these are gorgeous, right? Susan, I'm just like, oh my God. Hello? See, I guess that you wouldn't make another side to these. There'd be no reason. Because what would you do? I mean, how do you top a foiled side? How do you top this foiling? You can't top it. It's not like you have to... Okay, so it's not just my pack, Jill. Thank you. Because I was like, do I have a defect? <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's the foils, though. I'm not used to having foiled memories in more card packs. Like, I'm not used to seeing foiling on those. Yeah, seeing them makes me want them, too. Now I'm going to Now I'm gonna be like... Do I need the stamp set and the dies to go with it? You know, uh, probably. <laughs> but I like to always get the paper first because I do a lot with paper. And so I just like to always get the paper first and then I decide. But, I mean, this, this is just amazing. So now you have stickers. So these are stickers. Is that a feather? Yep. This is a feather. Oh, my God. How cute. Oh, I can think of all kinds of fun with that. I mean, not even... Masculine, just, just, just fun. Or is it a quill pen? It's a quill pen, but you can make it like a feather. You could do something nature with it, but it looks like a little old-timey pen. Oh, my goodness. More stickers. I love stickers. Yep, I know. Isn't it one of the sweets now? It's like we want to order. Oh, my goodness. These are gorgeous. This, this looks like I stamped it, right? Find joy in the journey. So you can take one, so you can just do a card, right? But you'd have to have something, I would say, horizontal. There you go. Okay, here we go. We can do this. You can go like this. I'm going to just make a card like that. You, you, want, you want this to be horizontal because it's like the, the shape of it. I'm going to lay it down. And voila. Oh my gosh. How great. I'm going to be getting more of these packs. I think we're a limit of one or two, or maybe two. How cool. Reach for the stars. So what I'm going to do is put that, and then you can put that onto like another layer. Right? Maybe something with more contrast. And then you have, but you don't want to hide the globes too much. But you get the idea. So then you put that on, and then you put it on our Memories and More Cards and Envelope Pack, which are really thick Whisper White, and you put those little corners, maybe a couple of those little 
antique corners. Uh -oh. Now you see how my little mind operates here. Oh, see? Maybe a piece of that little ribbon. <laughs> I mean, you got it yourself an instant little card. What I would do is I would take this ribbon and I would not want to block the look that side. I would put it on this side because it would block the little compass row. So I would go like that maybe. And actually I wouldn't waste. It's so, it's so nice. It feels so nice. I'd move that over there. Uh, three quarters of the way down. Maybe like that. Stick a glue dot behind the ribbon along the way. Just a few little glue dots. Not much. Just to keep it from slipping. Turn it over and then, you know, attach. No, don't waste that much ribbon on the back. You know, attach it like that. And then pop this section up with dimensionals and you have an instant little card project. Definitely cool. Oh my goodness. Where were the rest of the stickers? Look how great these are. These look like little corners as well. Save even the little pieces that aren't stuck on the sticker because you can use something with that. You can do something with that too. Oh my goodness. This is worth the whole pack. Just having these stickers is worth the whole darn pack. Yeah, I love those memories and more cards. It's kind of like you could stock up on them now. Be wait in preparation for the new catalog. You can stock up on what's called the memories and more cards and envelopes. They're whisper white. They're thick, and then you can then when you get all this June third, you can slap them on and have instant elegant cards that look like that. Totally looks like you did all kinds of stamping and cutting. And I mean, I'm I'm leaving that. I'm making a card with that. You'll see it on my. I mean, by tomorrow. Oh, not offset. I mean. I'll be taking a picture of that soon. I'm still posting on my... It takes as long to post pictures of your creations as it does to make creations. Oh, that would be nice. I'll find something to put it on. Oh, maybe that. Maybe that. All right. I don't want to... I don't want to miss giving you both sides of these as I start to craft as I... As I open it up. Oh, my goodness. All right. So now that I get... Let me show you this side of it and then I can try the card. All right. So that one says, I think the world of you. And then this one... There we go. That's perfect. Look at that. I found the perfect background because it's scripty. It's old time scripty on top of old time scripty. So there's my card. And I put on a white background with a couple of little of those little corners. I might use some of these little corners. Here, these little corners. Let's see how these work. Oh no, that's a weird corner. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know what they were thinking with these, but they should have made them fit into a normal corner, but I'll just go like that. I'll move it down. Sometimes people get crazy with their, there we go. But I can, I can work with it. That would, that's okay. That's okay. It's still a corner. It's just a, uh, it's just an angled corner. But you need one on the other side, I think, for balance. You know, just for the balance of color. There we go. You will get to finish my, my creation after I put the little belt on there. Nope, you know what? I'm not going to put one. I'm going to put it up there. I don't want to put it there because I don't want to block this cool looking thing. But I only want to use two of these because that's all there are of that color in the whole pack. And plus, I don't want to, oops, I'm going to have that little thing down there, the little piece, the little buckle thing. So I don't want to put that. Oh. I don't know how you're supposed to line these up. That's the only thing to get them to match. Maybe a piece of paper. That'll drive me crazy if they're not lined up. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Where was I? Sorry, I had to stop and make a card. When I, when I, see, the, when I see something like that, I have to stop and make a card. <laughs> All right, there we go. This is, this is this next one. Okay, this one is, gosh, this really reminds me of the, I, I'm going to now have to go get more Come Sail Away because this totally goes with the Come Sail Away memories and more cards that are retiring. It's almost like this is the replacement for those. At any given time, it seems like we have a couple different options for the memories and more. Like a different theme at any given time. Oh, that's nice. I think it... Oh, that's nice. Enjoy the journey. I like this side better, but that's a little busy, but I really like that's nice. Life is an adventure. And you, you could actually just cover... If you don't want to do that, you could cover it up with the, one of the other cards. But I like it. That, that's a card on it in itself. And then you got the light map. And then, okay, so four more. Let's see. 
One. The world is yours. Gorgeous. And then I saved these little these little cardboards. These, these used to come in boxes. I wish they would give us the box back, but I never could really ever get them back in the box, so what's it matter? I never did, because look at, look at my mess. So what I like to do is I like to get these little, this is like my paper pumpkin projects and my other projects, my botanical. I just like these little buckets. I don't know where I got these, maybe Ikea. And then they snap together. Like see, they snap together. So I put a bunch of like projects in them. And then I just throw all the note cards in them as I'm working on stuff. Or I use an old paper pumpkin box. Maybe I'll use for this all the sweets and the accessories. All right, so now I'm going to show you the designer series paper. Now I get to figure out what colors I was just working with. I'm thinking Misty Moonlight. That's what I'm thinking was one of them. All right, so here we go. This is the, ooh, that's bright. Okay, this is the World of Good Specialty Designer Series paper. And yes, I am in, in my Designer Series paper share, which signups are now. Even though you can't get your designer series paper till after the catalog launches, because I can't even get it. I have to order it, cut it apart, and mail it to customers. So, But you can sign up now for my early bird special of my designer series paper share. And you're going to get all 12 kinds of papers. So I'll be closing the early bird special May 23rd. And after that, I'm still going to... I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do other rounds during the new catalog launch, but not... But the early bird special will be over. But they, this, so I'm doing registration and then I'm going to prepare for it, make the orders. I'm looking for the specialty colors. I mean, the, not the specialty colors, the, the coordinating colors. World of Goods Specialty Designer Series Paper. Basic Black Bumblebee Cinnamon Cider. Okay, that's what I was looking at. Because I was like, I'm not really familiar. Is this soft suede? No, it's cinnamon cider. Okay, that makes sense because it's a new in color. So Bumblebee Cinnamon Cider Crumb Cake. I did see the crumb cake. Early Espresso. Of course, that's the color of the ribbon as well. Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, and Whisper White. Well, that's awesome. So I, I recognize the Mossy Meadow. And we have one, two, three of the new ink colors. So this is all good. This is your masculine suite. This is your masculine suite so you can make all your cards. You know, Father's Day and things like that. And just throughout the year, birthday cards for guys. Okay, let's look at both paper. So you're gonna you're gonna get 12 sheets of double-sided specialty designer series paper. Specialty meaning that it has foiling inside. So I'll show you one of each sheet. And I'm looking at it for the first time. I didn't even see. I saw like a few cards here and there made with it, but I never got to see the paper spread out. And even even the pictures in the catalog don't do it justice. This is this is amazing. Wow. I mean, you can actually see city names, and you could even do little, you could even mark something. Like, you could do something like, I miss you, put a little arrow, little stars, I miss you, put you and a friend. Well, I'm down here. Well, one of the places I live is down there. So, anyway, you could do a little, hi, Kathy, how you doing? I'm showing, what I'm showing is the World of Good Specialty Designer Series paper. All right, so I'm happy with those two sheets. I'll tell you if I'm not happy with the sheet. That I, I'll tell you if I like both sides. This side I like both sides, but this one does look like some kind of ink mistake. <laughs> like I was trying to do some new inking technique and all of a sudden I was like, oops, and spilled my ink all over the place. So I definitely like this side better. And it, this again reminds me of, you know, the come sail away. And I always had a dilemma with the come sail away, like trying not to, to make my compass, you know, block my compass. Hi, Gail. You know, so th this is this is a little better. You don't have to you don't have to block your compass because, ooh, wow, there's the specialty part. You know, because they're smaller and this pattern works better for cars because you don't have to worry about blocking the compass ro roses. I had a hard time getting them to show up in cards. The compass roses. Well, if you don't see this, I need to make my light a little different. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry for all the shadows, but you have to see this. I'm putting the light closer. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is worth the whole pack right here. So when I do my designer series paper shares, I cut them into little six by six squares. So you won't get, nobody gets the whole sheet of this. You'll get two different pieces, but it will be cut up. And that's just the easiest way to ship it. And to, uh, hi, Mrs. 
hope I said that right. But anyway, it's the easiest way for me to ship it and pack it and label it and all the things I have to do to it. I know some people prefer longer papers and I might do an option with that later, but for this first option, I need to make it all the same because it's just going to be overwhelming if I don't make it consistently all the same. But anyway, you're going to get two different parts of that. You won't get the whole sheet because you're going to get little samples of every pa pack. You'll get every sheet of this paper, but every... Not the whole sheet because it's, that's why it's called a product sampler. You get like half a sheet because you'll get two six by six squares of each kind of paper. Oh my God, this is just... I'm sorry I spent so much time on that one sheet. You're like, move on, move on because that was gorgeous. Oh, this is neat. It's like a giant target. <laughs> oh, that is just... In the background, you have these sort of topography map of some kind, and then you got the, like, sort of the compass rows and everything. It's just gorgeous. I mean, it looks like you did so much work and foiling and all this stuff, embossing, and I mean, you didn't have to because it's all done in the breast for you. And the other side of that, of course... You can use the scraps of this to make to make things with this is his crumb cake. But I mean, why wouldn't we use this side, of course, for most of the most of the stuff? And this other side is like a scripty scripty paper. You know, that would make a good little background for one like the little card I'm making. So remember I had the out oh, the scripty, I could do one layer in this scripty outside of here and then one layer onto the mossy meadow. Yep, I'll keep that piece out. Well we'll keep it out, but I definitely will think of doing that. Oh, here we go. This looks like the come sail away. But it's in Mossy Meadow. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Little globes. These make, this will make a great card background, and I'm even thinking that it would make cute little, little, like, magnets or stickers and stuff. Like, you know, if, if we cut these out. Hmm. My wheels are spinning. But I mean, I don't I don't think you even need to do anything to it. It's just such gorgeous paper. Okay, so let's see what else we got. We have Mossy Meadow. I'm not sure that's is this is supposed to be a globe. Yep, there's North America. Okay, I saw a question sort of this. Oh yeah, you could cut this with the scan and cut. But my wheels were spinning. The reason I kind of went side in. <laughs> Okay, so I went silent because I was thinking of something, and I'll just tell my scan and cut users what I was thinking of when I saw this paper. So I was thinking that these probably have a, a set dimension, like maybe they're one inch circles, and there's a set pattern. So if we figure out that there's, if we figure out that they are, say one inch, and that there is a pattern interval of two or something, we could we could make like we could cut them all out at once. We could cut them all out at once, knowing knowing what the pattern interval is, without even scanning them. I'm saying. There's another way. So you could, yeah, or you could punch them out. That's right, with a circle punch. I have a circle punch this color. I probably won't use the scan and cut because I do have a circle punch that's that size. Oh, and here we go. This is the last one. This was, by the way, I was telling you that that was North America. Like, this is a globe. It, I, first, it looked like a messed up paint job. But then when I looked closely, I'm like, oh, it's the world. Yay. It's the world. And there you can, then there's the piece that was peeking through the packet. So that is why it's called Specialty Designer Series Paper. And then this is my foil. Get to see my reflection of my messy craft room. So when you get foil, so we have several colors of foil sheets. I'm not including any kind of foil in my cardstock share or or my designer shares paper share. I just cannot afford because I'm already doing it for such a good price. Like I can't afford to put foil in with it. But you can get right now. We can we we sell this brass foil is available June third. But we sell gold foil now, rose gold foil. No, we don't. Have, that's only in that suite, but this is the gold foil, just to give you a contrast. And we sell, I think, black foil, and we sell champagne foil, and copper foil. So if you don't have a few pieces of foil in your arsenal, you are missing out on the die-cutting amazement. So that's brass foil. I'm just getting that out of there so it doesn't go crazy. All right, let's see what else I got in my pre-order. Okay, I got the new in-color cardstock, so I'll open this up. I had already, I'd already bought the 8.5 by 11. But I figured I was worried because they started saying like, oh, people were like, what if we run out? Anyway, we're not going to run out because we make the paper in the United States, I'm pretty sure. 
But anyway, I still like panicked and had to order the 12 by 12 because I could, because there's like a limit on how much we can order. And I was like, let me get, make sure I got some cardstock. Okay, so this is the new in colors. So last time I showed you my eight and a half by 11. The reason I like the 12 by 12 is for the scan and cut. So I will show you the colors without taking them out of the whole package. Cause I want to, I want them to just slip back into the package. Even though I have folders, I put them in. So this is Misty Mountain. No, Misty Moonlight. Misty Moonlight. Magenta Madness. Magenta Madness. Okay. Just Jade. Just Jade. Okay. Cinnamon Cider. And you saw that. That was part of this. That was here. That's in that suite that we were just talking about. Cinnamon Cider and Bumblebee, which is also in that suite, in the World of Good suite. So I bought the eight and eight. You can get eight and a half or you can get 12. Now it's more economical to get all of one color, but I got the variety packs because I don't know if they were selling 12 by 12 in each color yet. Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't available. Like later I would get, I, instead of this, this is 20. She, I would I'd probably get like a whole pack of Bumblebee and a whole pack of every color. But this is great for the scan and cut. You can cut out all your shapes at once. All right, you can't miss this. If you're getting anything in the next couple weeks, if you buy anything, you must buy this too. I got to show you why. Number one, it's four dollars and sixty cents. Hello, that's on clearance instead of eleven fifty or eleven dollars, however much our designer series papers cost. If you don't get this paper, you're missing out on a great deal. Okay, look. I mean, again, you're make cards for other people. Think of all the people you can make cards with that that are creative people in your life. Artists, crafters, sewers. This has it all. This is called, this is called, this is on clearance. It's, it's retiring June 2nd. So I don't mean get before June 3rd. You have to get it before June 2nd or while supplies last. In fact, the day of service that Stampin' Up! is having, this is what they sent to every employee in the company. They send them this paper here because it's so versatile. So anyway, retiring paper called Follow Your Art. Basic Gray, Blushing Bride, Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Crush Kerry, Pacific Point Whisper White. You must you must get this. It's four dollars and sixty cents for twelve sheets. Hello. Anyway, I keep getting it every time I get an order. I just put another pack in. I don't know how many packs I'll have of this by the time I'm all done, because I keep popping it into my orders. I just pop one in there. No, I don't go crazy. I just pop one in there every time. But I do have a couple packs now. So this is the only one I'm opening. And this cuts out great with the scan and cut. If you've taken my online courses, we actually used this in the course. This was the example in my course, uh, one of the courses, I forget which one, maybe the, maybe the SDX 125 course, where I would use this pattern paper as the example throughout the course on cutting pattern paper because it's just so easy to cut with the scan and cut. Anyway, this is your for the so seamstresses in your life, these little spools of ribbon and thread and I like to make cards that say, do something creative every day. Let's see if I have one laying here, because I've made about 20 so far. Here, I have one. So here's what you can make with this paper. That's what you do with it. You just put it on different. So you might be saying, oh, this paper is really busy. Oh, it's really busy. Well, yeah, but then you put it on something like this, and it's not, you know, it's not as busy. So this is the crushed curry background. Thanks. I, so I didn't take a picture of that one yet. But I'll be putting that on my page. So anyway, this is my this is my pre-order. I still have more. Oh, I still have more for my pre-order. I'm not even done. I just wanted to stop and open this. That's the, I showed you both sides of that. So this is a good. This is good. So if you bought the digital stamp set, if you downloaded it, the one, the the one that they're using for day of service. If you want to follow along on Sarah, Sarah's Facebook page. So it's with all those sayings. I'm just trying to find any of my sayings. You know, with the toilet paper, for example. Remember, remember the thing I showed on. I did a couple of tutorials on cutting these out with the scan and cut. Well, if th the employees are getting like a cardstock version of all those, and they think you cut them out, and this is the paper they're using to make the cards. So I'm leaving this paper out because I'm going to follow along with her. I'm going to cut up her. She gave us a pattern to use a template, and she gave everybody four sheets of paper. And she said, with the template she showed us, you can make 20 cards. 20 cards with just four sheets of paper. How cool is that? They're not going to be like my fancy cards. I mean, she's not using, I mean, I cut these out with the scan and cut, all this. I used dies. I, I did the backgrounds with the scan and cut. I used the embellishment kit. She is using the embellishment kit, 
Every employee got an embellishment kit. See what's mine's empty. It, these are these are on clearance too. These are like an unbelievably good deal. I forget how much these are. I think six bucks or something. Six, around six. Don't quote me, but I made stickers out of them. There's my embellishments. Okay. So anyway, all the employees are going to get to have that paper and decorate their little sayings, and then they got five stamps with pre prepaid postage stamps. And they were able to, um, they were able to, they're going to be able to send those cards they make to their friends and family. You know what this is. I'm just showing you again because I bought another pack of it. So in the unboxing number one, I said, oh my gosh, I have to get another pack of this. This is the, oh my God, this stuff is amazing. This is the, what is it called? Forever Gold Specialty Designer Series Paper. You don't have to do any work. Like the, in the past, they gave us this really cool laser cut specialty designer series paper. And then I got it, or I actually didn't get it because I was at a conference called, I was at some event and I saw how much work it was to cut them out. Like you had to cut them yourself. In other words, you had to cut all the pieces to make card bases yourself. This is not like that. So I didn't get it because of that. When I saw this and saw how much work it saves me, I don't have to do any die cutting because they're already laser cut for me. Then I said, oh, I have to get more of this paper. Oh my goodness. So I've already unboxed this before. So just so you know, I had to get more. And I would have got more even, but I was limited. So you get three of each. You get six. Wait, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And in these, th these three sheets here, that's 18 cards just right there because each of these pop out to a background of a card. All right, so that was... Specialty Designer Series paper. And the moment you've been waiting for. Well, that when would I have been waiting for? I was able to get two of these. And one more of these. So we were allowed to get two enamel. Two 2020-2022 enamel dots. We were allowed to buy two. So I bought a second one. Because you saw me use those on my paper pumpkin projects. And on the little cards I showed you earlier. I'll show you just what those are. So I did unbox these in one of my. See? See how I used them right there and these, oh boy, let me grab this. Here you go. See? So that's why I bought more of those because they're going to, you might, you might be looking. Okay. I'm going to tell you where I, like several years ago when I first started seeing how, like how expensive, like our Stampin' Up! embellishments were, I'm like, oh, I can get those somewhere else. And then, and then I realized very quickly that it doesn't matter where you get them from. They're not going to match as well. Okay, so just so you know, I, I at first thought, oh, wow. You know, but then, then I realized this is a formula. We have to go and get people to produce these to match exact, exact scientific color formulas. Like someone has to make these just for our company to match our products exactly. So like, and, then, and then they're only on the market for two years. So, of course, they're going to be a little more. Because we, the research and development that goes into our product color coordination is amazing. So I don't mind paying for those. Plus, I get a discount. I get 25% off. Demonstrators get 20% off at first, and then you work your way up to 25% off when you become Bronze Elite. You start out as a bronze, and when you become Bronze Elite, you get 25% off. So this is called the Flowers for Every Season Designer Series Paper. And the coordinating colors are Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, Magenta Madness, Misty Moonlight, Poppy Parade, and Whisper White. I'm happy about this pack because it's like the best dressed designer series paper where when I do a product designer series paper share, I don't have to cut it. Yay! It's already cut for us. All right, so let's look at these. You get four of each. And this is one side and that's the other. So far, so good. And you're going to see why it's called flowers for every season because you got like, here's the autumn, the autumn pattern. Okay, let's do the cinnamon cider. Let's see what's on the other side of that. Ooh. Daisies. I mean, there's, some of these can be like any time of year cards. And there's a pop of red. I mean, any time. I'm thinking the daisy punch would even go with that. We have a little daisy punch. Okay, here's the next sheet. Hmm, look at that. So this, this pack, or this suite, the Flowers for Every Season, is one of those suites that features 
all of our ink colors. One, two, three, four, all the ink colors, plus, plus Poppy Parade in white. So it features all of our ink colors. Okay, let's see what else we have. I'm going to show you all 48 sheets of this, and then I'm just going to show you the other little things sitting over here on the side of my table, the other little things that were in my box. That's neat. Poppy Parade and Magenta Madness and all kinds of, like, variations of those. Like, I like how there's, like, different light and dark variations of those. So if you don't like one floral pattern, you just turn it over and you can use the other, you know, the other side that's more subtle. There's always a more si subtle side. Now, you saw my, you saw how I used the Memories and More cards, like the card pack. I got these at first, but this paper just came in. See? I wasn't able to order this paper in my first pre-order. They didn't have it, I remember now. And that, I used the Memories and More note card for this background here. So that's what, that, it's similar to this. So now I won't use my Memories and More note cards. I'll probably use these for my card backgrounds. Ooh, this is just jade. This is the just jade color, and that's just so neat how. I normally wouldn't really like this color, but I love how this color goes. I love, I, what I love more is the color coordination, and I just think that's gorgeous. Magenta Madness is not my thing, but I like how it's put together on that artistic background. Ooh, this is fun. This is like a birthday type thing. Let's see if there's a little stain on the paper. Yep, that's just that one piece because this piece doesn't have it. All right, and then we got the little flowers. You can see them. Very nice. Very nice. And then we have two of these. And the other side of those. So I really do like the flowers for every season pack. And you'll start to see me make things with this. And um, one of the things I'm thinking of right away is when you see small patterns, like especially, especially like this, this will make a really good little tea pouch. This one here, let me see if I have a tea pouch handy. I did have my bucket, my bucket of here. It will make a good little one of these things. I did show how to make this in one of my videos. A diaper fold. I don't have my spatula, so I better not try it. You have to have a spatula when you attempt this, but it's a little easy diaper fold. So I'm going to be making, I think these will go great with the new catalog, giving when I give out the catalogs and then they get the little, little tea inside with made out of that paper. So what's the other side of that? That was that, that was that one. I'm going to keep this paper out and make one of those little tea pouches. All right. So anytime you have small patterns, it works for that. And we have some just jade. This reminds me of the in color paper, the in color designer series paper. Ooh, I like the tulips. This is great for spring, these tulips. And I think tulips are really good for sympathy cards too, which unfortunately I have to make a lot of coming up. Oh, that's neat. That to me looks like a winter scene, but only because of the colors. Like if you saw the same flowers in a different color, it wouldn't look like wintry, but that's, that's really neat because now I could start doing something already for Christmas craft fair preparation. Maybe make these, um, what I think of when I see these is the liners of the clear tiny treat boxes. Then you put like a little coffee cup inside. These make a great little colored liner. That's nice again with the stripes. Oh, this is my favorite piece. I mean, it's my favorite, should I, should I say my favorite, well, it's probably my favorite piece, and Christmassy, too. Wow, that is some stark poppy parade. That is really stark. Oh, hi, Linda. I'm not sure if I said hi to you. Cinnamon cider are your favorite, really? Just jade, cinnamon, they're your favorite colors? That's cool. Well, just jade's one of my favorite, but not... The, the others, no, but I mean, they're, um, they're starting to grow on me. I got to give you that. They're starting to grow on me. So this is nice. So I'm going to take this piece here, this piece for sure, 
and anything else with a small pattern like this would make a good little tea holder in fact I'll use the one with the had the little dot of ink on it there was a here this one. I'll use this one with the little black dot and what I'll do is I'll use this one I'll use that as the outside because of the small pattern and I think it'll go well with the tea and I'll make one of these tea holders See, it'll go well with the tea, and I'll put a little tea bag in there. So those, I'm going to keep those out because I put them in with the survival kit. So I was able to get two packs of that. And i got to show you this because I've never tried it before. And the only reason I got it was because it was on clearance. And I'll show you this. Well, this is just washi tape that goes with it. This is just washi tape I do have already, but I bought some more because it was on clearance. And it's, it goes with that, that suite I was showing you, Follow Your Art Suite, before. But I've, I already know what's inside that one. This one, I'm not sure about. I mean, you're supposed to be able to make flowers with this washi tape. So we're going to try it. And it was on clearance, so I just said, what the heck. I'm going to try it finally. I'm going to make some flowers. I should see the name of it first here. Pressed Petals. Because, because all of our sweets retire with every catalog, all the little accessories mostly retire, except for a few embellishments. And then mostly... Like all the designer series papers retiring June 2nd, all of it from the, both the holiday catalog or from the spring catalog and from, from the spring catalog and from the annual catalog, it's all retiring. So I need a little piece of white. So let me grab my white, my little white stash here. We're going to put, we'll just see what's in my white pile here. We'll, we'll put this little piece of paper down and try to make a flower. Okay, so this tape is like petals and I don't know how it works, but we're going to try it. Maybe, maybe use the spatula side. I have it. I have on the end here a spatula side. So if I'm doing it all wrong, someone will probably tell me in the comments. So I have to. <laughs> hey, you're working at the same time. I oh, I wonder what you're working on, Susan. You're working on crafting at the same time. You said you're working, or you mean you're at work? <laughs> oh, are you working on your crafts at the same time? You're watching me. Oh my goodness, these are like little. Maybe I'll just use my fingernails. I just need to get these off. These are little... Oh my God. How awesome. I didn't mean to say that. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I should say. <gasps> Fun. These look like real... I'm not even using my little spatula. I'm just using my fingers. These look like real little petals. So we can put them down. Let's, you know, let's layer them. We'll, we'll do something like that. I, I always thought this was cool, but I never bought it because, like, I never bought it full price. But then when I saw it on sale, I'm like, okay, I have to have it now. Because I always try to get it a little bit early before it's totally gone. And that way I can, if I like it, I can get more. Oh, my God. This, this looks literally like I pressed a flower. This actually looks like I really pressed a flower into, the, into something. And then you can put this. Like layer it up like that. And then you could put one of those floral centers. We sell these little fuzzy floral centers. How many are you? We need four of those. Yeah, put a little center in the middle and you got a flower. This is cool tape. So it's called pressed petals. Now I gotta punch that out or, or use a scan and cut to cut it out, you know, to get the the outline of it. Now the only, the, my only suggestion for this is they shouldn't have made it sticky all the way. They should have not made, the, it's like this is sticky right here. The whole thing. And this little edges should not have been sticky. Because like, you see what I mean? The edges shouldn't have been sticky because now I want them to stick up like that. But they're going to end up, they're going to end up sticking down on the paper. So they put a little floral center in there. <laughs> You're like Susan, like me. I know it's like now I got to try it. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and then you got this little guy. This is going to go good with the, um, the, even though it was on clearance, it's going to go good with the new suite. This press petals. Um, let's see if it's, I'm trying to see what it says. If it says anything about spring and florals. One red rose within a garden. Okay, so if you're trying to make, if you're trying to make this suite, the world a good suite, into something more feminine, these are like all about flowers. But this little paper, this will be cool. I'll do something with that. Okay, and then I bought more of these because I really liked them. And just as a follow-up, I opened up these before. These are this World of Good or Taste of... Here. No, no. In Good Taste. Sorry. A different suite. In Good Taste. See? I opened up these before in Good Taste. I bought some more because I loved them. And because we were only allowed to get two. <laughs> you 
Yikes, I know. Isn't it true? You see another order in your future. So these, these were so cool. And then these, I'm going to show you these. These were on clearance. So anyway, I just colored this with a granny, uh, what's it called? Green, garden green marker. Okay. And then you saw these, you saw these gems. I got more of the jar thing. No, I'd already ordered two of the jar things. Demonstrators are allowed to get a paper pumpkin. This is when you join paper pumpkin, you get a free gift. And demonstrators are allowed to get these in their demonstrator orders. And I panicked when I saw they were in low inventory, so I, I ordered them. These are just extra stamping blocks, and I love giving them as gifts and things because they say paper pumpkin on the side. They're not as thick as our regular stamping blocks, but they're pretty cool, so I got that in my pre-order. This is how thick our regular stamping blocks are. What the heck is stuck on there? That's my stickers here. Um, see, this is how thick, but it doesn't matter. They're really still good quality stamping blocks. And only demonstrators can get those. But this, this we got to see. And then we'll end there. This is my last item. Okay, this is something that I saw. And I never saw it. I just never noticed it, honestly. I don't know how long it's been in the catalog. I've been a demonstrator for several years. But it's, it's one of those things I just never noticed. Until recently. And I've never opened it. I did get them before. And I did actually send them to as, as little um, prizes. They were like in the clearance. But then I was like, now I'm curious. Now I want to see, do I like them? Do I want to get more? Do I, I need to open it? So it's on clearance and it's called Tags and Feathers Elements. And I'm thinking feathers, they go with that other paper we just saw. All right, so let's see what this is. And that's how we'll end this. Unless I miraculously find the card from the other day with the forever forest. Forest forever, whatever. Forever greenery. Forever greenery is what it's called. If I find that card, I would show it to you, but I don't, I don't see it on my table anywhere. I don't know what happened to it. So this is my unboxing. All right, so here we go. Again, tags and feathers elements. So we get one of those, one of these, one of these. Oh my goodness, they already have holes in them. And you can probably stamp right onto them. Let's try it. Because I happen to have that little friend stamp is already out. It was out. Or here we go, here we go. We're gonna try Misty Moonlight. And we're gonna try to stamp right onto it. Misty Moonlight onto the wood. And you see, this should fit. Friends make good times better. So what I need to do is whenever you're stamping for the first time, you always need to, well, first of all, you need to put on a flat surface. And secondly, you need to always stamp onto a scrap paper first because if your stamp's not inked well, you don't wanna waste your piece of wood, right? So let's try this. I'll show you the rest of those elements in just a minute, but I have to. Curiosity is killing me. Can I stamp onto these? Because if I can, it's a game changer and I'll get more. Okay, so first I want to just stamp onto the paper to make sure my stamp is inked good. And it is. A little shaky, but it's inked good. I don't know if that was me shaking of excitement or this. Let's see. Yep, that, the stamp is fine. It was me shaking. All right, so now I'm going to stamp onto wood. Hopefully this works out. I'll go a little slower. I usually use stays on when I stamp onto wood, but this one has, it seems like it has a smooth enough finish that it'll might, it may or may not work. We're going to try it. And then I might heat set it a little. Because usually I use stays on black ink on wood and then I heat set it. Or I usually don't even need to heat set it if it stays on. Oh, that's cute. Super cute. All right, friends make good times better. So I will go heat set that to make it a little darker and to make it set in. But I think it's going to be better even in black. How fun are these tags? All right, so you get one, two, three, four, five, six. So you get 12 of those little tags. And they already have a hole in them, and they're already wood. And so you can stamp on the other side too. And then you get five of these kind of feathers. Oh, no, you get more than that. Because you get five, six, seven, eight of those kind of feathers. These are going to be just great on the nature cards, like with the forestry thing on the nature cards. And then six of these feathers. So that's good. So I'm happy with my pre-order. So far, so good. Very happy with it. And that is all for now. <laughs> my battery was getting low, and I think uh, we've spent enough money. <laughs> so thank you all for coming I appreciate all your comments and I get to read them all later because I was looking at my table most of the time 
But um, thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoyed my unboxing part three. I hope you'll go check out the other parts of the unboxing from the other two videos. And I hope you'll check out my next scan and cut tutorial where I feature how to cut out the stamped images to make these two cards. And I hope you'll get involved in my paper share by May 23rd. And lastly, I hope you'll participate in our day of service and make five cards today. That's probably what you were talking about, what you were working on, is your five cards. So I hope you make five cards today, or at least send five cards this week, even if you don't make them all today, because you need to bless other creations. That's what crafting is all about. All for now, this is the Paper Chef.